we made it. I finished filming that um, coconut oil video and it came with little stickers. So every time you take a picture with the little um, stickers that they sent and you post it on social media, they plant an additional palm tree. I've got my hair up because it is, it's not actually that hot, it's cooling down. So it took us forever to find a parking spot. This is really popular, I didn't realize. We're still an hour early before they're playing the movie, but let me take these off. But um, we're parked really far, so I'm excited. Are you excited, babe? Yeah. <laughs> you sound excited. Date night, date night, date night. Let's go see E.T. Ooh, it smells like pee right here. I'm like walking by a fence. I forgot, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I got this dress. It's just a very flowy white dress. I got it from Boohoo. It's very comfortable. I'll leave a link to it down below and it stretches here and it has like a little frill. It's very thin, so I have shorts on. And oh my God, I forgot that I had on um, my pajama shorts from filming, so look. <laughs> I literally have on my pajama shorts from filming. I meant to put on jean shorts. I'm a mess, okay? So, it looks like I have on like pink underwear. Maybe I should take that off. Maybe I'll take it off before we get up there. Still back in time, boy, don't be shy. Push it if you don't really feel the same I guess we're living in the past, boy, what a shame When you're feeling all alone And you call me on the phone And you got me on my knees And you got me Um, excuse me, sir Do you mind moving your big head out of the screen? Better go, I don't want a copyright strike. Hello friends, present day Nikki here. Hope you enjoyed that vlog. I didn't even get to finish what happened. So basically, I'll tell you quick story time. After you saw the movie starting, it was so nice. We're watching the movie. We were like, it, I don't know if I explained it, but the, the film was basically, they blow up a big screen. You guys saw that. And it's basically in a park. So you all get to like sit on a field and you can bring blankets, chairs, all that stuff. So we were basically like towards the front, like very close to the screen. You saw all that. And so the movie starting, I'm getting into it because I don't remember much of E.T. I was, uh, I don't know if I've even seen the full film. So I started getting into it. I was like, oh, this is kind of scary, kind of fun. And uh, sorry, you're going to hear a lot of background noise. It's the morning and it's really loud in this neighborhood. I think it's street cleaning right now too. So um, I start hearing like screams in the back of the field, like people that were like way in the back. And I was like, oh God, what's going on? And then before I knew it, all of the sprinklers came on in the field. I guess the people that rented the park that throw the movie, the outdoor movie, they forgot to tell the park or the park didn't tell them. I don't know, but the sprinklers came on in the whole field and you just hear people like screaming. My boyfriend seemed to think it was so hilarious. He was cracking up. I was trying to find my phone because I wanted to vlog it for you guys. It was like total mayhem. People were screaming. People had their dogs. If Coco was there, he would have freaked the hell out. He hates water. He hates commotion. He gets really frazzled. I was trying to find my phone. My boyfriend's cracking up and he's like trying to cover us up with our blankets because the 
the sprinklers were like rotating sprinklers, so they were like going around slowly, like pss, 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 pss. it was so bad, guys. So I can't believe it, but I was, I'm gonna say like 70% of the people stayed, but the grass was wet, everything was wet. I was like, I'm not staying here. And they kept playing the movie. I think they did that because they knew if they stopped, they'd have to refund everyone. But if they didn't stop the movie, they could just be like, well, you know, the movie kept going and we didn't know. So they basically like sent out some lame email, like, we're so sorry, the park didn't tell us. You should confirm those things. And so I asked for a refund because I was annoyed. First of all, we were soaking wet. It was nighttime, it was kind of cold, walking and we parked far. And then I didn't get to finish the movie. I think we got like 15, 20 minutes into the movie. So it was funny, but like kind of annoying too, but it was funny. So I tried to vlog it for you guys. I don't know why I'm like, thinking, I need to get my phone out and vlog when there's water everywhere. My phone would have probably gotten destroyed. It was in my purse, so that was the first thing I grabbed. So that was hilarious. So I thought I'd pop on and do some product reviews really quickly to end this vlog. So let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. First up, we have a perfume from Givenchy. I love the way this smells. So this is Givenchy live irresistible and i don't know if you guys can see but this bottle is big this is 2.5 fluid ounces i love the packaging it's pink themed and you can see on the bottle oops the top's coming off let me put that on you can see on the bottle it's there's like a ribbed like glass effect i love it it just smells like smells rosy and clean it's like a hint of vanilla musk i really like this scent so this is Givenchy Live Irresistible. I took a pretty cute picture of this and posted it on my Instagram if you wanna check it out. I leave the link to my Instagram down below. Love the packaging, love the smell. It's light, but strong. I'm not the best at explaining fragrances, but let me look up the description because they'll do a better job of explaining it. It's like a light floral scent, but it smells sweet. It says airy petals of rose and allspice. Ah, that's what it is. Allspice berries ignite sensual musk and woody notes in an explosive finale. The contoured bottle inspired the contour inspired bottle is fresh and effervescent, adorned with light pink studs and a bright pink label to remind you to live irresistible. Oh, these are pink studs. Yeah, I see that now. For some reason I thought like the bottle was tinted pink and then those were clear. I really love the packaging. This is gonna look nice in anyone's vanity and I love the smell. Next up, if you haven't seen the video where I color corrected for the first time, go and check this out because, go and check that video out. I'll leave a link to it down below. This stuff is amazing. Let me see if my camera will focus. This is the Lancome Tint Doll Ultra Wear Camouflage Corrector and this is in the shade orange red this is my favorite shade this stuff is amazing not only is it great at color correcting but look at that coverage it makes your skin look so smooth i love this stuff i'm so mad i didn't try this sooner this is great for color correcting but really good at just smoothing out texture making your skin look smooth and just nice and radiant i love it so this is the shade orange red but i have all of the shades but this one is my favorite to color correct with, love it. Next up, we have the Givenchy Healthy Glow Bronzer. Look at that packaging. I love Givenchy's packaging. It's just very classy, very simple, but very chic. So let me tell you about it. It says it's a weightless bronzer for healthy looking glow and it lets your skin show itself off in its best light any time of the year. Fresh, radiant, Formulated with next generation technology, the formula transforms into powder when applied. So the shade that I have, I'm not even gonna try to say that. It's clearly in French. <laughs> this is the shade I have, number 02. Let's open it up. Look at that mirror. Oh, you guys can see yourself. It comes with a nice size mirror and then a little cover to protect Look at how pretty that is. And you can see it says Givenchy with a star. That is so pretty. I don't know if this is a shade I can bronze with. Let's watch it. I probably can't bronze with this, but can you see that? It's on this finger. It's gonna be too light for me to bronze with, but maybe I could actually use this as a highlight, like a powder highlight. 
or even a setting powder just to add some nice glow. It's down here. It's not making me look ashy or anything, but I don't think I can use this shade to bronze with, but maybe as a setting powder or on the eyes. Look at how pretty that is. It's so pretty, I don't even wanna mess it up. And is there anything under here? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, yeah, so, so nice. I will definitely be featuring this in a makeup tutorial. Love the packaging, has the traditional Givenchy symbol, and then there's the back, so I will be using that for sure. Next up, I'm just gonna give you guys an update. You guys know I love this foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation Stay In Place Makeup. This is good if you need a long wearing, full coverage foundation. I think I did a first impressions video where I left this on for like eight hours or something. I love this stuff. It's great. It doesn't clog my pores, doesn't make me break out while still being full coverage. Thumbs up for me. And lastly, I wanted to give you guys an update on this set that MAC Cosmetics sent me. This is the MAC Cosmetics Powder Foundation set. This is their powder foundation in NW50, the Studio Fix um, powder foundation. Love this stuff. I've been using it for years. It's just full coverage without like clogging your pores. It makes me look smooth, keeps me matte. Love it. They also sent the 140 brush, which I have been using to apply the powder foundation. I love their brushes. I think I did a full review. I'll leave a list um, to all my MAC videos because I think I did a MAC brush video, a MAC haul, and a MAC tutorial. Every time I take these brushes out, I just wanna like rub them on my face. They feel so nice. And then the set also came with the Studio Fix Powder, which I love. I tend, ooh, it's so refreshing. I usually tend to only put that on before my makeup because I have oily skin and it, it just gives you like a refreshed look while making your makeup last even longer. So that is it, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and the product reviews. I will see you soon. Don't forget to check out the videos here on the screen. I will put my face here. If you click that, you can subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye.